feel like anybody's talent or anything they can offer can be a form of protest as long as people are listening and and, and wanting to know more. I think it is a form of protest and I, it, music bridges gaps through all cultures. So I started when I was five. My father took me to the University of Hartford and they had uh, different um, instruments on display. And he said, why don't you pick an instrument? And I said, okay, uh, I'll pick this one. And I looked and it was a violin. I didn't know what it was called. I just thought it looked cool. And uh, he said, uh, okay, so you're gonna play that. So you're gonna have to stick with it. I'm in a certain type of mood when I'm composing music. I can't just compose it just uh, without feeling a, a deep meaning behind something. COVID has been a very uh, traumatic experience for all of us. And uh, during COVID, I've been able to sit in my, uh, in my house and just uh, have more time on my hands to compose music. This is Mill Pond Park in Newington, Connecticut. And this park is uh, very special to me because it's actually uh, a park that I uh, bring my uh, wife and children to often. My family inspires me. My youngest son is actually taking up the violin. Uh, he really wants to he jump into it as do most kids. They want to just kind of start playing Vivaldi or Bach and it takes time, uh, but he, he loves the sound of the violin and uh, he wants to, to play. He has his own violin. So we're slowly working towards that. He's only six, but We'll see what the future holds. Fall's my favorite season, and the song sounds a little bit like the transition from fall to winter. To me, it's like a deep, rich feeling when I play that piece. <laughs> 